So I hope you enjoyed the little whip and chat portion of the video. And now I want to show you what I've been working on for my smash in the specials. All right. I haven't gotten a lot done, but you'll see why you guys, you'll see why this thing is huge. It's beautiful. This was the three panel. I've done one of the panels because this is a full drill. This is, you know, these are all like regular drills and there's a lot to drill on this thing. It took me a while. And then you get ABs and you get, you know, some rhinestones in here. You get some rhinestones in the flowers. It's gorgeous. It's just taken some time. There's another panel that's very similar to this one. And then there's the panel in the middle that has the two peacocks, which is even larger than this one. So I'll get to the other two. Don't worry. I'll get to them. I just wanted a break from this and I wanted to do something else that was quick and a little easier isn't it beautiful let's zoom you in it's gorgeous isn't it these are rhinestones these are pearls these are like marquees or yeah i think those are marquees it's just beautiful so i'm excited to do the other two but just give me a little while all right we'll get to it so i want to do something quicker so i moved on to this and this was pretty quick Okay, it did not take too much time. It was pretty fast. Let's zoom you in. All right, there we go. It was pretty fast. It turned out super cute. I like this one a lot. Things popped out as I was doing it, you know, like there's an owl and flowers and there's all kinds of different things. There's a bird. And I didn't realize those were on there when I ordered this. So it turned out really, really pretty. I like it. Somebody else has done this one as well. Look at all the sparkles. Look at all the prettiness, right? Look, there's a hair on her nose. Yeah, that doesn't belong. <laughs> oh, that was interesting how that just showed up in the camera. I'll have to get some tweezers after that. Oh, maybe I got it. Yep, I got it. Okay, her, her nose is hairless now. But isn't she pretty? Look at those green eyes pop at you. Super pretty, right? So that was the second one I did. Ten different shapes on that one. That one took me like, you know, an evening and then maybe I finished it in the morning. Something like that. All right. Then we moved on to another big one. <laughs> I have a lot of big special uh, drill diamond paintings. This I absolutely adore. Let me see. Zoom you out so you can get the whole thing. I adore this. It's gorgeous. You guys, it's so pretty. Everything I love in the world is right there, right? We got these flowers box gloves. We got the cone flowers. These are delphiniums. Okay. And we got the cardinal. We got the um, ugh, goldfinch. He's a goldfinch. A bluebird and a blue jay. And they're all on the fence hanging out, just having a good time. This is so pretty. Now, I said before, I like to do all the rhinestones first. In this case, I was also doing the white ABs. I did these first and then all the rhinestones. And then I go back and I treat myself by putting in all the specials, the pearls, the marquees. These are gold. They're perfect for the tops of those flowers. Perfect. And then we had some more special ones. The delphiniums are all special. No rhinestones on the delphiniums. Gorgeous, right? Loved it. That's so pretty. I have to frame that one. Um, I'll frame them all. You know that. But this one I want to keep. Some of the others, you know, I don't know. We'll see. All right. So then after I did that big one, I was like, okay, let's do another small one. Oh, no, that's not true. I did this next one. I did this next. This is what I did next. I did my little house. All right. Now, what's interesting is a few people have done these houses and there's different varieties. There's different types. Like I know Brandy did hers. Her sign is attached to her fence. Mine's separate. As you can see, look, mine are all separate. See? My tree is separate. Brandy just had a little bit of tree attached to her house. All right. I have these cool square gems for my chimneys. Hers doesn't. My unicorns are different. I love these drills right here. These pink ABs and then these white, which are white and blue and purple and yellow and all kinds of colors. They're gorgeous. 
I mean, it, this was so much fun. It didn't take me that long to do it. I worked on it in my live and I finished it the next morning. How much, how much fun is that though? And like I said, mine are all separate pieces where some of the other kits are not that way and they have different drills even. So I don't know what the difference is. I don't know. I don't know how to tell you which one's which even, but anyhow, yeah. And make sure if you get one of these, a couple of people have done this wrong. Make sure you have your gate the right way. This is the gate, the white, here's the gate and it opens. Don't put them the other way around because then you got your gates on the outside edges and that doesn't make sense. <laughs> anyhow, isn't that cute? I have no idea what I'll do with it. I'll probably give it to my granddaughter. She'll probably love it. It's a little trinkety thing. She'll love it. All right. So I did the little house. And then the last one I just finished was another quick one. And it's this heart. I have a couple of hearts and I just grabbed one of the hearts and I, you know, did this one. Um, again, I did all the rhinestones and look, it's got some of these big, big shapes right here. They're cool. Um, had a bunch of green and orange faceted and then it has a lot of these orange these are getting pretty common these orange like teardrops opalescent kind of it's pretty super pretty right so that is what i have done i have only done those five and i'm working on another one but i mean look at the size of some of them they're huge <laughs> so anyhow i hope you guys are having fun smashing the specials I'm going to get some more done. I don't know how many more I'll get done, but this was a week, about a week, and I got about five things done. So even if I got, you know, four or five done each week, that'd be quite a few. Not as many as some of you guys, because you guys are killing it. But anyhow, I have a couple other fun things I want to do. You know, not another house, but fun things I want to get to besides just paintings. But yeah. Maybe I'll do one of those next after I finish because I'm working on another, another large one. Anyhow, keep smashing them, you guys. Keep smashing them. They're looking great. We're doing a good job. You're all doing great. I can't believe how many people are posting pictures on Instagram. There are so many of you guys. So, you know, at the end of this, we're going to have a giveaway, right? So hang out for that. That's going to be the last thing I do is the giveaway. Good morning, everybody. It is Mindy, and I'm here to do my little whipping chat and talk about smashing the specials and all that fun stuff. So as you can see here, I have another painting up on my easel, trying to uh, get it done. I picked some large paintings, <laughs> and I'll show you after I'm done chatting. I'll show you what I've worked on, and um, it's just taken me some time because everything I've been working on is large, but. I have this one upside down right now. It's a boot. And I'll show it to you later when it's all finished, but it's a boot full of flowers. If you watched my beginning, you probably saw it. I showed everything I was gonna work on, but anyhow. Um, yeah, so um, what color am I working on here? 10, hazard signs. Oh, the hazard signs. Ooh, we get to do the laces. You might not see the laces, but I'll start down here on the flowers. Anyhow, this smash in the special thing has been just, I mean, it's been a huge success. I am overwhelmed with how many people are posting pictures of projects they finished on Instagram. There's so many. Um, I will be doing a giveaway at the end of this video, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. And I will show you the things I've worked on at the end of the video. So hang around to the end and um, yeah, see what we got going on there. Anyhow. Brandy's killing it. I don't know how many she's done now. I lost count. There's some other people too that have done just numerous projects. You guys, whew. I do have some more um, little fun projects to do that aren't paintings. I'm going to try to get to those. I mean, I have like some mandalas and keychains and things like that. I'm going to try to get to those as well. But so far, it's just been big painting, a couple small ones. But anyhow, it's fun. It is so much fun. Um, I figure if I get even four or five done a week, I mean, that's quite a few. That would be like 20. I mean, that's a lot, right? Trying to empty out my box, empty out the box. Now, if I could stop filling the box and putting things into the box, <laughs> I could probably empty it a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, 
special drills. I kind of just love them, you know? And I'm always looking for the unique one. I was talking to Brandy just last night. And I was like, you know, when I look for a special drill, I don't want something that is just rhinestones. You know, you can, I'm not saying you can't love them because you can love them, but um, I don't like to just outline, which is what I'm doing right now, outlining. I, you know, outline, 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 and then that's it. There's nothing special. No, I like to do all this outlining and then get rewarded with some special things, which you can see. Bam, bam, bam. This has got specials. So when I'm looking for things, First of all, I'm looking for something unique, <clears throat> you know, that's not been done a million times. Um, things that appeal to my sense of design, I guess, my aesthetic. And then things that have special drills as well as the rhinestones. So anyhow, that's what I look for. What do you look for? I don't know. We all have different tastes, you know. That's my taste right there. So creating this beautiful pink flower right now. These are really pretty. Um, I'll make some of you happy and I'll let you know that I have been saving. I actually have them right here. I'll show you. I have been saving my special drills. I got these little boxes at Walmart. They were a buck and I've been saving. I've got three boxes so far. And if I find the same colors, I'm adding to them. These are all different colors. And then there's some ABs in here that I just don't need anymore. I've got so many of them. But um, you didn't want me to throw them away. So I'm not throwing them away. So maybe at the end, it depends on how many boxes I end up with, three or four people might get a box of my leftover rhinestones. You want them? I'm saving them. <laughs> Anyhow. So keep keep working, you guys. Keep uh Keep putting them up there on Instagram and showing everybody your progress. And we'll keep drawing winners. Each of us are drawing a winner each week. All right. Um, so, yeah, there's that. What else is going on? Well, you know the Chuck Along is coming, right? Chuck is coming September 1st. I hope you have a Chuck Pinson painting. I said this in the intro. Go to Diamond Art Club. They have some on pre-sale. Um, get one ordered. It might not be here exactly at the start, but, you know, as long as you're started in September and show us some progress photos, you're going to be good, right? You don't even, you, you get an extra point probably for a finish if you finish. I think we're going to do it like we did our Christmas one. You get like a point for a start, a point for a weekly progress pick, and a point for a finish, something like that. Maybe we'll even throw in that bonus if you do the one that we're doing and you get a point. I don't know. Although Maritz has already told you what she's doing. So that would be kind of unfair. You could go get a point just by doing what she's doing. <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk about it. But I'm sure it'll be a point system of some sort like that. And um, there will be fantastic, fantastic, fantastic prizes. That's all I got right now fantastic prizes you don't want to miss out you just don't okay so anyhow um yeah there's that i am excited i still don't know what i'm doing i you know i have so many choices so many options i just don't know which one i'm gonna do <laughs> i guess i'll get to the day and i'll be like uh, i better pick a painting i'll go grab one i don't know something like that Anyhow, um, Brandy told a really interesting story about um, being able to go to Mexico when she was in high school. And she got to go to space camp as a teacher. And I'm just like, gee, Brandy, all these special things that you do, I'm like, I'm just kind of boring. You know, my life hasn't been all that fantastic. I haven't done anything like go to Mexico or space camp or I don't know. I was like, what am I going to talk about this time? Talked about my grandma last time because she was special to me. What am I going to talk about this time? And I was like, I don't know. Well, let me think. Let me think. I'm still sitting here right now going, what do I talk about? What do I talk about? Um, I think I'll tell you a story about being a Girl Scout. I was a Girl Scout my entire life. Um, 
from a very young age in elementary school and my best friend Judy and I were in Girl Scouts together. And we did lots and lots of stuff. You know, that's when we had the we had to make our duffel bags and our ditty bags and you could only take one bag with you to camp, you know, whatever. But we had some awesome leaders. Um, they were wonderful. They, you know, let us have all kinds of different experiences. Sometimes we were tent camping. Sometimes we were cabin camping. Um, I don't know about other states, but Michigan has some Girl Scout camps. Now that I did on my own, like you signed up to go to a Girl Scout camp and I would go to the camp and I would meet other people. I remember they had like these tents that were like platform tents, you know, a big wooden platform with the canvas on it that made the tent part. And you'd be in a tent with like three or four other girls that you didn't really know because you just signed up. You didn't know who they were. And you'd do activities. You'd make things. You know, you'd do that braiding thing. Or we made sit upons. Do you know what a sit upon is? Anybody heard of a sit upon? <laughs> you take like these two pieces of vinyl and you like lace it together with that plastic string stuff, you know? And you stuff it. And then it was a seat. And you'd sit upon it, right? <laughs> take it to the campfires and stuff, and you'd have something to sit upon. Yeah, we made those. Lanyards, birdhouses, painted things. I mean, all those kinds of crafty things I did as a Girl Scout. And I did that all when I was younger. You know, those are like my elementary years. And then at some point, my mom became a leader and things changed a little bit. I mean, I was older. I was in middle school. Um, I was one of those kids. I was like, I didn't care. I would wear my Girl Scout uniform to school with my, my little jumper, with my sash, with my badges. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. You know, these days videos are difficult to make around here. You get them in pieces and parts. Anyhow, I was proud of my Girl Scout days. You know, when you first start out, you're a brownie when you're little, and then you're a junior, and then you advance on to cadets. Well, when I was a junior, and that was up through the elementary years, um, I, I earned all the badges I could earn, got all the awards I could get. And um, when I started talking about this, I was like, you know what? I still have this. I still have this. This is my sash. We were the Michigan Capitol Girl Scout Council. We were the Robins. That's my troop number. Um, these were some special badges you earned right here. And so were these. I don't know what. Wings are when you fly up from one level to the next. And here's my badges. I earned all of the junior badges. All right. The green are the junior badges. And then on, onto the back of the sash, more badges. And then when I got to the top up here were the cadet badges. And I didn't earn as many of those, but you know, I still had a few of them, but I have my sash and all my badges, you guys. <laughs> Um, the beret, the little hat that you wore, the little beanie beret, it's around somewhere, but I don't know where it's at. But Girl Scouts was a huge part of my life. And I think I was telling you that my mom um, became a leader. And then things changed because, you know, I'm older and things were different. Um, but I have a couple stories to tell you. All right. Once my mom became a leader and I'm now an adult or getting to be an adult, um, I'm in high school, you know, that kind of thing. And um, we decided that we wanted to go on a trip, a great big trip. And we were going to go out west and we we're going to do all this stuff. So we needed to raise money. Well, this was back in the day when we didn't have a deposit on our cans and bottles here in Michigan. And so aluminum you could go collect the cans and you could sell them for the money, you know, by weight. So we just started by collecting, you know, cans and bottles and whatnot. And then we would take them and we'd turn them in. The bottles, not so much. It was cans we wanted because you could take them to a metal place and they would pay you by the pound for them. So we just started collecting cans and stuff. And then 
we, uh, I was a bowler as well when I was young and we got permission to go to the bowling alley and like go through their dumpster, <laughs> you know, where everybody was throwing their stuff away. Yeah. We started going through their dumpsters and picking through and getting out the cans. Well, that led to one thing and another thing and another bowling alley. And we asked permission. We always asked permission of these places before we would, you know, just go start going through their dumpsters. But we went to bars and a few restaurants and we would climb right in the dumpsters, you guys. And somebody would be the designated dumpster diver, you know, and they would be the one that would go in and they'd just start throwing things out and we'd have bags and load them up. It got to be quite an operation, quite an operation. So much so that we had to have a truck and a trailer and we had like, you know, um, those big metal bin uh, barrels to put our bags in so that things weren't going all over the place. We had regular routes and certain days we would hit these particular places to get cans. And then we'd take the trip over to the recycle place and get our money. And it was always exciting. Us girls were like, hey, how much money do we get for that load? You know, and things like that. Dale actually remembers this. He was around at that time when we were doing all that. And he's like, oh yeah, you guys jumping in the dumpsters. And he, he went on a couple dumpster dives with us, I believe. <laughs> yeah, we made a ton of money though. Thousands and thousands of dollars we made doing these dumpster dives and it funded our entire trip, right? Let me tell you what, it, we made a lot of money, but that is one nasty, gross thing to do. I mean, you're in there with cigarette butts and ashes and marshino cherries and pieces of orange. And, you know, think about it, all the kinds of drinks and stuff that would be served in a bar or a bowling alley or whatnot. Gross, right? It was gross. We'd have our gloves and our grubby clothes. We even had t-shirts made, I think, about the dumpster diving, whatever, troop, whatever. It was crazy. One of the funniest things was we we're in this dumpster. We all took a turn. I don't think there was anybody that didn't get in the dumpster, but we're in the dumpster and one of the girls, she stands right up and she's just loud and proud. And she stands up and she goes, yes, I am the homecoming queen diving in the dumpster. And she was, she really was a homecoming queen <laughs> at our high school. And here she is diving in the dumpster for cans in and amongst all the garbage and the mixed drink fruits and cigarettes. And it was just, I mean, it was pretty gross. It was funny though. It was funny. And we earned enough money. We went, um, we went to Niagara Falls. We went out west, all the way out west. We went through Colorado. We went to Arizona. I had an aunt and an uncle living there. We stopped there. We, while we were there, we spent the night with them. We took a day trip down into Mexico. Oh boy, take a whole group of girls down to Mexico. It wasn't five minutes across the border. We walked across. It wasn't five minutes across the border when one of our girls got her butt pinched. Seriously, it was like, <laughs> but you know, the memories, oh my, the memories. I think we actually went through Canada when we were up by the Niagara Falls and we had one of our students was adopted. She was Korean and she was adopted. I mean, she had birth certificate, she had all that stuff, but whoa, we were scared for a minute because they were asking a lot of questions about her and checking over her information very thoroughly. So we were a little nervous that she wasn't going to make it, but, but she did. And we made it out or in or whatever it was. I think they don't let you out. I don't know what it is, but it was a nice trip. We had a, a pop-up camper. We had tents. Um, we redid our truck. My parents had a pickup truck and redid it. The whole back of it put bench seats in the back of the pickup truck, carpeted it because one of the requirements was all the children on the trip had to be able to be seat belted in. So we could fit like 10 kids in the back of the truck and 
built these benches so that everybody could have a seatbelt. And then another uh, family, the adults came and they had a vehicle, a van or something, and they could get some more kids in there. There was quite a, quite a crew of us and it was quite the adventure. Um, yeah, we saw the Grand Canyon. We just, we, we went so many places. I think it was like a 10 day trip at least. It was just, it was worth the dumpster diving. Let's just put it that way. Worth the dumpster diving, you know? So that's one of my big adventures that I remember. I, I got to actually become more of a leader at the time of that trip because, you know, I was one of the oldest. I was probably a senior in high school and I got to take on some responsibilities and things like that. But yeah. Oh man. And then cookie sales. Oh, do I remember cookie sales? Goodness. Um, my parents had the store, right? It was easy. It was easy for me to um, just go up to the store, take my cookie order form up to the store, and I would sell tons and tons and tons of boxes of cookies, right? Tons of cookies. Um, so I was always like the big seller of cookies in our troop because, well, I had a whole store full of people that wanted to buy Girl Scout cookies, right? Yep. And those cookies would come in and it, our family room would just be filled, filled with Girl Scout cookies because I had sold so many Girl Scout cookies. But yeah, good times, good times. And then of course, you know, when I got older and I had children and my daughter is a kindergartner and they're asking if somebody wanted to, you know, volunteer to help start the Girl Scout troop. Now they're daisies. Now they have daisies, kindergarten. I was like, sure, I'll help, you know, help turned into, oh, by the way, you're the leader here. <laughs> so then I was a leader of Girl Scouts for, well, probably six years or more, at least while she was K through five, I believe I was the leader, had some other um, ladies come on board as assistant leaders. And then, then they split off. They had a different vision than I did. And they took some girls and went one direction. And then I just ended up with five or six girls in my troop and we did our own thing and it was cool. It worked, you know, but Girl Scouts was a huge part of my life. I learned many, many things. I learned how to, you know, that's probably my first pee in the woods experience was a Girl Scout, you know, porta potties, lots of porta potties. Um, just lots of fun things, camping over a fire, staying up late, watching embers burn, you know, campfire songs, s'mores, uh, hobo meals, washing your dishes over a fire, cleaning your, your, your mess kit, sanitizing it, letting it hang up to dry. There was just so much. I mean, it's just such an experience, you know? So, um, it, in my schools that I taught in, well, over the years, Girl Scouts was not a huge thing. It's sad, but it just wasn't a huge thing. Somebody would try to start a little troop and they might have like some daytime meetings, but they never did the things like we did. They never camped. They never, you know, they might get together on a lunch hour at school and make a craft or something. Um, they just didn't take off. And you know, I found that very sad, but because I had such great experiences with Girl Scouts and made such good friends, you know, that I think it's an opportunity that, you know, it's kind of like Brandy said about, you know, going and studying your language in another country. It's an experience that you just gain so much from. And mine was years and years and years, you know, like probably from like second grade all the way through high school. I was Girl Scout and I learned many, many things, you know, about life and just outdoorsy stuff. It was cool. Um, I'm glad my daughter had the experience at least, you know, kindergarten through fifth grade on my honor. I will try to do my duty to God and my country, to help other people at all times and to obey the Girl Scout law. <laughs> Can you believe it? I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> Anyhow, that's my special, special thing I wanted to talk about. Um, 
Have you ever, were you ever a Girl Scout? A Boy Scout? My son was a Boy Scout for a while. That was a very limited kind of thing. No camping involved there either. Just some meetings at the school and, you know, a couple of cake sales and a couple of uh, derby car races. That's what I remember from Boy Scouts. That was about it. But, yeah. Another day we'll talk about 4-H. I was never in 4-H, but, oh, man. Oh, 4-H. I'll talk about 4-H. That's what I'll talk about next time. My kids in 4-H. That was something else. Years and years of 4-H. Um, these organizations, you know, I know some of them have gotten a bad rap over the years here lately, you know, with, you know, sexual claims and, you know, things like that. But that just, it wasn't even a thing when I was a Girl Scout. It wasn't even, no, you never would have even dreamed of anything like that happening. It just didn't, you know. We had good people, <clears throat> and we learned a lot, and we cared about each other, and it was awesome. Well, I'm going to stop here. Um, this probably isn't a very long whip and chat, but I'm going to go do the video for um, the giveaway. The giveaway comes next. So let me get this done while my husband is outside doing something and I can actually record stuff. All right, let me go do the giveaway. Quick little video here to show you what I'm going to give away. I, you know, I bought a whole pack of these mandalas and they're all different. So here's this one. Do you want to see what it looks like? I'll show you. It's not hard to put back in here. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I'm sure people like to know what they're winning. So you know what you might get next time, right? So this is a pretty, pretty one. Look at it. Look at the colors, the oranges, peaches, teals, very pretty. And then look at the colors, some pinks and yellows, and there's blue. Here's some of the special ones. You get some white teardrops and blue teardrops. Pretty, right? Some clear, got some clear there. So very pretty. Um, and you know me, you're not just gonna get a painting, right? No, I found some goodies. I'll throw in some washi tape. And I'm gonna throw in this cute little bird Cover minder. Look at him. Isn't he cute? He's cute. Throw in that. And I got a little bag of some purple ABs for you. One of my favorite colors. 211. Yeah. And then I found these. These are so cute. There's a whole bunch of these. Um, look at them. These are magnets. They're magnets, you guys. You pull it off there and they're a little magnet. Look at them. Popcorn and ice cream and a donut? I don't know what he's supposed to be. A donut? A bagel? I don't know. They're so cute. Um, who knows? I might find other stuff to throw in there. Well, that's your little prize package for this week. And let's go see who actually wins it. All right? Let's go see who wins. Okay, so you guys have been rip snorting away with these uh, Smashing the Specials. <laughs> My first drawing was through 1 through 66. And you see what's happened since then? 67 through 178. We were up to 178 different projects submitted by people. You guys, that's a ton. That was in one week. I, I, we were up to 66. And in one week, we went from that to 178. That's amazing. All right. So we're going to hit the generate button and we're going to see what number we get. And then we'll go to our list and hopefully the list comes up. I think it's here. Okay. What number do we get? 163. Ooh, all the way down at the bottom. All right. Now let me see. Down here, I believe I have the list. Hopefully it comes up. Okay, here it is. All right. So see, we were up to 166 there. Or 66. Sorry, we were up to 66. And we're taking off from 67. Now what number did I just say? I forgot. What did I just say? Oh, now I got to stop and go back and look. Hang on. Boy, this is getting tough today. Getting tough. 163. Oh my gosh. 163. We're all the way down at the bottom. 163. And 163 is reading diamonds. 
Well, I don't know if I recognize that name, if I commented on that one. But Reading Diamonds is 163. 163 was the winner for this week. So Reading Diamonds, please contact me. My email will be below and you win the prize for the week. Congratulations, Reading Diamonds. So you guys keep, keep plugging along. Keep posting them. We got room. Look, we got all this room. <laughs> all right. So there you go. Um, so until next time, you guys, um, enjoy diamond painting, get some projects done and have a great time. All right. I'll talk to you next time.